Hello and welcome to Tribe Topper. I'm Sonal Gupta and this channel is about increasing your understanding of physics. To clear your concepts, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for latest updated videos. In this video session, you're going to understand the multiple slit interference. So here you see what type of a pattern is obtained when the light is uh, passing through a single slit, then two slits, then three slits, four slits, five slits, seven slits. You can clearly see a difference between them. So we see here that your bright fringes, which are coming from these, uh, of course, they are formed by the constructive interference of the light coming from these slits, they remain in the same position, right? The bright fringes, the position of the central maximum has not changed overall, right? But what you see is the pattern becomes sharper and sharper. So it becomes sharper and narrower. So if I, if I want to talk about it in a, a graphical representation, I would say it looks like this. Like for a single slit, you have this as a relative intensity. The value and the position has not changed. But the next ones, they become sharper. But with the relative, uh, with the increasing number of slits, you have more of the high intensity maxima. Like in the first one, passing from a single slit, you just have one maxima and the next maxima are very fainter ones. But here, from passing through a double slit, you have a central bright maxima, which is very, very sharp. But the next two maximas are also, they have a little at least higher intensity. So you see here, like for one slit, you just had this one central maxima and the next ones were the fainter ones. But here, apart from the central maxima, the next maximas are also bright. The next maximas are also a bit brighter and that brightness reduces as we go on further. So we would say that the brightness of the fringes the intensity remains almost the same, but it, the brightness becomes narrower, right? The fringes, the bright fringes become narrower, I would say. Not the brightness, the bright fringes, they become narrower and narrower. So, you have thinner number of bright fringes, but more and more number of brighter fringes. And the brightness or the intensity of these bright fringes is proportional to the square of number of slits. So that means if you go on increasing the number of slits, you are going to get really, really bright fringes. See, this is, but they have become sharper again. And this is even more sharper. So you see here, this width and this width, there is so much of difference between that. So as you head outwards from the central maximum or the principal maximum, Wherever the, there are more slits, the, there is greater constructive interference happening where, because that is because the path difference is really negligible in these slits. So the smaller amount of slit, you have a lesser intensity, but you still have brighter fringes. So slits that are farther away from each other, they will be rather like, you know, meeting out of phase. But as you go on increasing the number of slits, the pattern just turns out to be sharper. And as we say that the intensity is proportional to the square of uh, the number of slits. So I would say for two, three and five slits, if you see the intensity, the relative intensity is in the ratio of 4 is to 9 is to 25. So for one slit, I would say 1 here. So 1 is to 4 is to 9 is to 25, corresponding to 1 slit, 2 slit, 3 slits and 5 slits. This is the ratio of the relative intensities as the number of slits goes on increasing. So that's all for this video session. In the next, you're going to understand the diffraction grading. Thank you.